Former Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke will be released from prison early next month. Now community activists want federal prosecutors to bring charges against him in the shooting death of Laquan McDonald. And they're calling on the Mag Mile Association to pressure prosecutors as well. We're getting more on the story now from WGN's Mike Lowe. A group of activists is urging Magnificent Mile businesses to join them in a sort of public pressure campaign to keep Jason Van Dyke behind bars. We don't want to turn on news and watch Cartier being vandalized and watch Burberry and Louis. That goes against what we believe in. That does hurt our cause. But at the same time, being black and being black in America for 32 years, I understand and I get it. With memories of the 2020 unrest and looting fresh in the city's collective memory, racial justice activists gathered here on Michigan Avenue, the symbolic heart of Chicago's wealth and power, to demand help from the Magnificent Mile Association. They want those businesses to pressure politicians and prosecutors to intervene in the Jason Van Dyke case. That would carry a whole lot of weight. They might not care about black, black life and black bodies, but they care about their property. This group is upset that the ex-Chicago cop is reportedly being released from prison before serving half of his sentence. Van Dyke was seen on police dash cam video shooting 17-year-old Laquan McDonald 16 times. The shooting touched off massive protests in the city and fueled a national debate over police reform. In October of 2018, Van Dyke was found guilty of second-degree murder and 16 counts of aggravated battery. He was sentenced to six years and nine months in prison, but reportedly will only serve about three years and three months of his sentence. We can see with, with clear eyes that Jason Van Dyke has been given preferential treatment. According to a report in the Chicago Sun-Times, Van Dyke will be released on February 3rd. He does not deserve to walk free on federal February 3rd, and we're going to make sure that he doesn't. This group of racial justice activists are calling on U.S. Attorney John Lausch to intervene and bring federal civil rights charges against Van Dyke. We need the, the, the uh, John Lausch to step forward and show that his office has integrity. Lausch's spokesman declined to comment on the case at this time. Activists mentioned that there are rumblings about a response from outraged members of the black community. It shouldn't take for folks to step up and fight and step up and lock arms and make uh, businesses lose money and riots. It shouldn't take all of that for us to get some type of justice in Chicago. The Magnificent Mile Association did not respond to our request for comment tonight. Reporting on Michigan Avenue, Mike Lowe, WGN News.